Okay, boys and girls, so I got a real quick one. Just wanted to take a look at a couple new themes that have been dropped recently. And my God, I'm excited. It's It just keeps on these options, man. These freaking options just keep blowing my mind. I can't decide. I like the comic book theme. Really love Retro-Rama. Oh. Man, there's a few others that I really like. There's some simple themes out there. Futura, I really dig. The um, the Maximus Pie is pretty awesome. You know, and I've covered a lot of these. Right here, we got a new one from David Marty. We're going to take a look at this one first. And I'm just like, you know, I don't like ranking themes for Emulation Station. But what the? Oh, my God. I love this. I love this. Now, you know, we've had like the, the steampunk theme, which I really dug as well, you know, with the, the, the wheels that we could scroll up and down and, you know, really awesome stuff also by David Marty. But this right here, oh, I don't know how I'm going to decide between this and Retro-Rama. I'm going to have to go back and forth like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, boom, that's Retro-Rama. And then, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But let's just take a look at this theme. Because this is sick. This is the showcase theme. And I got one other one I want to take a look at too real quick. That's pretty cool. But this one, I, I wanted to, I, I just figured, forget it. Let's just look at it real quick. I was going to show the other one first, but I decided, no, let's show this one first. Freaking amazing. So, obviously, we're scrolling up and down to pick our systems. And I, I kind of like that because I could see, you know, what's coming up. Whereas other themes, you know, you're scrolling left and right, even if you change it to instant view and instead of slide or, or the, uh, what you call it, I, you know, it's the transition, you know, it, it's kind of like you, you don't know what's coming up next unless you got it memorized or you put everything in alphabetical order. But I do like this because it's more akin to, to using like a track mode where you can see your wheels you know, what's coming up and, you know, you have an easier time navigating. It's not a knock against anybody else's themes out there. It's just something that I really dig because I personally don't care to use attract mode. It's just, you know, attract mode is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but these guys are just freaking killing it with the emulation station themes and they don't take up as much space, you know, more so the space comes from you adding snaps and, and your videos and all that. But Attract mode builds are typically a lot heftier as far as the data they use. So some people, they don't, they don't like doing that because they'd rather, you know, not necessarily that people are on a budget, but some people are on a budget and they want to get the most out of the memory cards they have. So these themes help with that because it doesn't take as much space, you know, just plain and simple. And they're just, they're just as beautiful. You got Retro-Rama looking sick, all hand-drawn craziness. You got the steampunk, you know, Hertzy Blue, Motion Blue, you, Maximus Pi. There's so many cool themes that you can use in Emulation Station that just make it beautiful. And I dig stuff like this. You know, it's taking things to another level, and it's just got a sick look and layout. So let's just go through this. You know, we're scrolling up and down. Boom. I've got my videos playing. I've got all that wonderful stuff going down. It, it, it's just it's it's really awesome stuff in my opinion you have you have your your video game the description of the game the rating the release date all that stuff as long as you have all that information correctly in your game list and the logo and you do have your system logo up at the top it, it just beautiful just beautiful so you know there's a lot to look at with this theme Obviously, it's a it's kind of a unified like everything's going to be the same except you know you're going to have the logos and, and whatnot, but on your front end, that's where it's magical and it's you know you got the system, you got some box art, you got the system description, really cool stuff. The system logo on the side, and then when you get in there, you know I don't I don't have all the systems on here. I just kind of threw some games on there to get the front end menu, because like I said, it's going to look very similar in each you know when you select the system, but. I dig that though, because it keeps everything the same in the sense that, you know, it's all unified. It's all very similar looking. Um, and it, it just, it, 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 it keeps it, you know, to where it, it's consistent 
if you, you get my drift, I, I have a hard time explaining what I mean, but it it's just freaking awesome, man. I just love the way this theme looks. And the bonus on it is that we do have the new menus are all games where everything is listed, gives you the system that it's that it's on. And as you notice, this is a Sega build that I have, you know, that I've been tweaking for a while. Um, so I mostly just have Sega systems on here. And like I said, I kind of threw uh, dummy ROMs onto the other systems just to get the front end to show you guys. So just pretty sick stuff, pretty sick stuff. Looking beautiful. Don't know what else to say. Favorites. You know, I don't have no entries in there, but you guys know how the favorites work. You go to whatever system you choose and you press Y on the game and it'll, it'll add it to your favorites like such. Hit Y, get the notification and it's added to favorites. My system's getting hot for some reason. Don't have any heat sinks on. It's actually not in a case at the moment. Just sitting there, but it's like, it's like 100 degrees in here right now. So that might be affecting my system as well. So we go back to favorites and we just got the game we added. We could press Y again that removes it. Sick, just plain sick. So before we look at the next theme, I'll just show you how to make sure you can grab this theme. So you wanna to go to your configuration, your RetroPie setup. Go down here, go to RetroPie setup. I'm not gonna go through the whole process because I go through it every single time I, I do one of these videos. But if you have a question, hit me up and, and I'll let you know. But pretty much just go in the RetroPie setup Make sure the setup script is up to date. Make sure you're, you know, you can do all installed packages or just the basic install where it's just all the core stuff is is uh, updated. But at minimum, typically to make sure you have these features and have access to these themes, you want to make sure your RetroPie setup script is up to date and you want to make sure emulation station is up to date. So make sure you update those. And then where you can go is also on this screen is the ES themes. You go in there, scroll down, showcase will be kind of toward the bottom. A lot of the newer stuff is down there. So like Retrorama has some new updates to it. You can update, you know, Retrorama, any of those awesome themes that you're using. These guys, you know, they keep adding stuff, you know, and usually they'll, they'll get them up there so you can update through, through, uh, through RetroPie itself instead of manually doing the update. So you can go through ES themes, install, uninstall, update all that beautiful wonderful craziness so let's go ahead you know man i've talked for minutes on this just how 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 much i love it and i mean i'm rambling at this point you know the only things i could here's uh, you know i don't i don't want to nitpick i really love this theme and i'm going to be honest with you i'm going to use the crap out of this this is going to be on my personal build i might have to switch back and forth between this and retro rama but the only criticism, and it's it's just me, is that you know I'm using this on a Raspberry Pi. I'm not using this on the PC. So obviously the Raspberry Pi, you know, we've got these logos for these awesome controllers, and I'm sure you know there's, you know, there's these kind of controllers you can use USB, but you know it just kind of teases you a little bit. You got the GameCube controller. You got the Nintendo 64 controller. You got the DualShock 4, the Xbox One controller. You know, yeah, like Nintendo 64 Dreamcast. We can play those on here. Support's not that great at the moment. You know, Dreamcast probably more so than Nintendo 64. You can find some great games played. Nintendo 64. There's a lot of games that work, but a lot that don't. So it's kind of a tease, but it's still that's that's beautiful looking work right there. And then like right here on the favorite screen. You're getting some Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Halo, you know, Call of Duty type stuff. For me, it doesn't bother me, but since I'm using this on a Raspberry Pi, I can't play those games. You know, so that's that's my only thing. If I'm gonna nitpick about anything, that's it. But I've already I've already spoken very highly of this theme, and those little things that I'm nitpicking about don't really mean you know, don't mean shit to me. Still going to be an awesome theme to use, and I can't wait. Love that with the Mario picture. That, that's pretty awesome. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the next theme. This one's been out for a little while. It's gotten a little talk, but I think it kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Um, and there's two versions of it, but I've only installed one of them, and that's the GBC35. So let's go ahead and open this one up. I'm unsure because I haven't dug through the file system on this, but I have noticed some of my systems aren't supported. So I don't know if it's something I've done wrong or if they're just not 
part of this theme, which a couple of them surprised me that they wouldn't be. So I'm not, I haven't taken the time to go through the file system to look at this theme to ensure that they're there or not. So don't take my, you know, what I'm gonna show you as word that these systems aren't supported because they could be or they could not be. Maybe I'm having an issue and they're not showing up, but all the main stuff shows up. And this is a pretty clean theme. It, you know, it harkens back to a lot of the original stuff that was out there. It looks pretty dope. You get in there. Um, I, you know, I have video snaps for all this stuff, but they're not showing up on here. So I don't know 100%. Maybe this does not support video snaps. I don't know. Oh, well, the box art showed up and then it disappeared and then the video snap came up. That's kind of cool. I did not realize that. Some of these I don't have video snaps for because they were like late editions. Okay, so we do, we do. Okay, boom, box art, disappear, video snap. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, I think. So like right here, Super Famicom, I don't have any artwork for that. I go in there, nothing. Um, but everything else is, is, is pretty legit. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting a box art and then our video snap. That's kind of cool that it does that. I actually dig that. Boom, box art. We put the game in, video's playing. I don't know, I think that's that's dope. I don't know why that temperature's coming up, man. I'm not running anything crazy here. It's not overclocked, nothing's going on, driving me nuts. My pie's right here. Yeah, no, uh, uh, no heat sinks on there, but she's raw, she's naked right now. My pie is naked. Yeah, this bad boy's getting kind of warm. Maybe the heat in my, uh, my space here is not helping because I'm kind of... I'm sweating, my Raspberry Pi is sweating. I don't know, but that's that's driving me nuts. And then this one, TurboGrafx-16. Why do we not have, like I said, don't take this as 100% legit, but if that's not on this theme, that seems like a weird omission, but maybe at some point it would be updated. But like I said, I have not taken the time to dig through the file system, so maybe there's something wrong with what I'm doing to it, that it's not showing up, but everything else works fine. Any other theme that I use on this setup works fine. Showcase worked fine, Retrorama works fine, and they all have all these supported systems. So I don't know, maybe this one's just missing that. But we do have, and I don't know why it's doing that, but check it out. Like That's why I think maybe something's weird's going on. We have all games, they're showing up, box art, that's cool. And then our favorites, we got nothing in there. And then my last play is showing up as the uh, showcase theme so I don't I don't know why it's doing that I'm gonna have to dig through the file system but if you want a simple build you don't have a bunch of weird stuff going on like I do then you know it's a it's a pretty awesome build to use Dreamcast it's not showing up and I have Dreamcast on here with video snaps and everything so I, I don't I don't know but it is like I said it's a it's a really clean theme it looks great I'm gonna dig into it more if you guys know if you know you go through it before I do or look up the uh, the notes on this theme. Let me know if those systems are not supported, and you know possibly why why am I uh, getting the showcase last played? I would think if this theme that's why I think something might be going wrong is if uh, this theme has all games and favorites incorporated, it should have the last played incorporated as well. So that doesn't make any sense to me. But who knows? Whatever. You know this theme I like it, but I'm probably not going to use it. I'm just being honest. I'm going to use Showcase and Retrorama. That's my jam right now. That is my jam. Smash that like button if you could. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Check out my giveaway videos. Check out the Facebook group. Do all that crazy awesome stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Boom. Maybe another boom as well. Boom, boom. Forget Walmart and my Super Nintendo. Dang it.